Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Amit Shah. I've got Mr. Arasaratnam Srikant Raja and Mr. Anil Guri, Dr. Anil Guri, sitting next to me. He obviously is the superstar of the Fertility Facebook pages, as you may recollect. Now, three of us are here in Dubai at the moment, I'm just about to complete the prestigious IBC course, which is getting into his uh, sixth year, as you may already know. So over the last four days, we have uh, conducted some extensive uh, discussions and uh, workshops which involve uh, basic fertility science and uh, advanced uh, fertility science such as IVF, ICSI, and IUI treatments. Uh, Dr. Shri, who is um, a consultant embryologist, um, had obviously uh, carried out some really exciting uh, new developments in embryology, while Dr. Guri and myself have been updating um, everyone about the modern trends in fertility. I will now hand over to Dr. Guri to tell us a bit more about our forthcoming adventures. Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Guri, and uh, this course was probably one of the most intensive courses that we had done. Uh, unlike conferences, we uh, try to make this course, uh, course very intensive uh, with a lot of questions that come through, and we uh, aim to discuss uh, topics which often are not discussed in major conferences. Again, this is not a conference. This is a training course where we start from looking at uh, ovulation induction protocols, looking at how we use clomiphene, how we use letrozole, the various protocols of chronic low-dose protocols and the multiple protocols of IVF. Uh, the two of the main important topics which uh, Amit and me talk about are those of uh, treating poor responders, uh, looking at luteal phase stimulation and follicular phase stimulation, and also what we often call as chasing the antral follicle of trying to stimulate at the right time. Also, the challenging issues around hypohypox stimulation and PCO stimulation is something which uh, Amit and me come together to discuss and uh, uh, look at different ways of challenging it. It's a very one-on-one -on -one intensive teaching program. It is about your day-to-day -day practical problems that one faces in clinical practice. So you can read your theoretical knowledges from any textbooks and journals, but um, the important part, I think, is that how we troubleshoot and what happens when everything fails and how we approach those cases, and that is what we focus on. Uh, thank you, Anil, and I'll now hand over to Sri to tell us a little bit about what um, he has uh, done over the last two days uh, with regards to embryology. Sri. My name is Sri Kadraj. I'm the I'm scientist or embryologist working in Homerton. So I know that you all are clinicians, or fertility doctors, so what am I doing here? Because we feel that all fertility doctors should have a basic knowledge in uh, embryology or what happens in the lab. So I am here to do some lectures on andrology, that is semen analysis and sperm preparation for various uh, treatments like IUI, IVF, FIXI. And then I'll do the basic embryology, what happens in the lab from egg collection throughout the embryo culture, embryo transfer, embryo freezing, mainly vitrification. I'll give a lecture on that. And also I'll talk about uh, time-lapse technology, which is the uh, current uh, um, development in IVF. So I'll go into detail about uh, time-lapse technology. And also I'll finish with uh, quality control measures in the lab and how can we improve our success rate by keeping the lab conditions uh, optimum. So, see you there. Uh, uh, the thank you yeah. very much, Shri. Uh, Shri, do you think uh, that, uh, you know, as clinicians and across many places, uh, don't you think that as uh, doctors we need to understand more of being able to counsel patients about uh, embryo quality and understanding embryo quality? Because I think it's very essential that uh, doctors know what they are when they're putting back embryos or when they yes. do IUI. Yes, especially these days, that background knowledge is very important because patients are getting a lot of information from internet and uh, they will be asking questions. So 
every doctor, uh, fertility doctor should know the basics and the embryo gradings and uh, embryo quality to discuss and also to decide how many embryos to put back. All that is, uh, it's an essential part for every doctor. Yeah, absolutely. And if I may add a little bit more before we um, end this uh, little discussion, is that um, one of the unique features of this training program is the practical aspects where um, uh, IBC in Dubai have uh, um, uh, invested immensely into developing the models for egg collections uh, which involve software and they are near life, very real experience of uh, how we do egg collection. It's actually even tougher than your real egg time collections which means that you learn how to be careful, how to be cautious, how to be gentle but how to be effective at egg collection. It also involves an embryo embryology workshop where Dr. Shri teaches everyone how to load the embryos, how to effectively prepare a catheter which then gets handed over to clinicians like Dr. Goody and myself where we go through uh, the intricacies of day-to-day -day, um, practical aspects of embryo transfers rather than just the theoretical knowledge. So I think overall this is uh, an amazing program and I wish that if I was a student I would certainly want to come in and have a look at these programs and even if I'm a practicing gynecologist or reproductive medicine specialist you would definitely get a lot out of this program. So hopefully we look forward to seeing you in our next program which is going to be back in Dubai in February 2018. Uh, please look out for the dates at the uh, ibcme.com website and also look at the fertility courses which Dr. Goody very proficiently runs uh, where we try to address all your troubleshooting and daily courses. So thank you very much and uh, we look forward to meeting you all in future. Thank you. Thank you.